I was at the breakfast table, putting on my boots and picking through a box of Crusher Krispies. And that's when it happened. What happened? The toy surprise was missing from your box. Worse than that, my mom tells me that after school today, she's taking me to that new museum. The Glamour Puss Museum of Makeup, Wigs, and Patios? Bingo. <gasps> I think it's another one of my mom's plans to make me more girly and junk. My heart goes out to you, Spinelli. I was thinking it'd be a lot less boring looking around at all that lipstick and fruit fruit girly junk if someone was there to kind of hang out with me. Whoa, no. I'm not going in that place. Yeah, I'm kind of busy. I've got my reputation to worry about. Thanks, guys. But I was hoping Gretchen could come. Well, though I seldom pass up a museum, a cosmetics museum doesn't exactly sound like my cup of tea. You've got to help me. I need another kid along so I can goof off and be myself. I'll be bored out of my skull if you don't come. Please? No, for you, why not? It'll be a girl's day out. Yes, Gretch! You are the best friend a girl could ever have. Miss Gretchen, what a pleasant surprise it is to have you along on our little outing. Mrs. Spinelli, the pleasure is all mine. Hey, everybody, get a look at me. I'm Stormy Weathers from Channel 9. We've got a high-pressure system to the east, followed by a whole load of girly dumbness coming out of my brain. Oh, I was born a poor technician's daughter in a shack outside of Harvard, MIT. They said, Jake, can you make us all a batch of that heavy water? And Daddy split an atom as he held me on his knee. <laughs> Come on, Gretz, let's find some more dumb stuff to make fun of. Ashley Funicello Spinelli, use your museum voice. Oh, Gretchen, that was really a creative song. It was merely a trifling ditty, but thank you. Hey, here we go, Gretz, check this out. Glamour puts in science. Thanks to blue eyeshadow, even the smartest lady scientist can look like a complete doofus. Wait a minute, this appears not to be so much about scientists wearing makeup as about the science behind makeup. Glamour pushes Tahitian Temptress face cream is far more fascinating than I ever imagined. Tahitian Temptress is what I use. It makes me feel natural and womanly, like a feminine tropical lagoon. The secret, Mrs. Spinelli, lies in a little something called liposomes. Uh, sorry I mentioned it. Hey, look, a big foot with sparkly toenail polish. Let's stomp on it. Shh, please. What were you saying, Gretchen? Liposomes are microscopic agents that can actually carry vitamin E to the subsurface of your skin, resulting in that sassy smoothness no he-man can resist. Ugh, so much for fun. And because of the molecules' inherent tensile strength, these pantyhose could indeed be worn by an angry gorilla. Just like in a commercial. Ma, don't you think maybe it's time to go home? Say, Gretchen, why don't you join us for dinner? I'd have to obtain my parents' permission, of course, but I would be delighted. It couldn't be any more boring than hanging around this place. Why, Pookie, there's a world of amazing discovery out there if you just open up your mind, like your friend Gretchen. I've got to say, sometimes I wish you'd try to be a little more like Gretchen. Wow, Gretchen. What a neat surprise to have you over. The pleasure is mine, Mr. Spinelli. I get such a kick out of all those fantastic accomplishments of yours. What you got cooking? You know, the usual, my perennial cold fusion experiment. There's this new cyclotron I'll be able to finish if I can raise the money for the lot next door. Hey, that's nifty. Dad, you should have seen it in school today. I caught a fly with my bare hand. Say, you should have saved yourself the elbow grease. I bet Gretchen could have vaporized it with a laser beam. More spaghetti, Gretchen? Well, thank you, Mrs. Spinelli. And if I might be so bold, this spaghetti is delicious. That's because it's made with the ancient Spinelli sauce. Only a Spinelli, like me, knows the secret recipe. Hey, will you look at that? <sighs> now, that's neat noodle form. What wonderful table manners, Gretchen. Yeah. Say, Spunko, maybe Gretchen could give you lessons. Well, manners are one thing, but how about cooking? Now, I don't want to brag or nothing. Or anything. Or anything. But I actually found a way to improve on our secret family recipe. You see all them little black olives chopped up in there? That was my idea. Oh, no! All this excitement of having Gretchen over made me forget about wrestling. Yes, wrestling! You see, Gretch, watching wrestling together at the dinner table is a special moment thing my parents and me share. Kind of like church. Dad, never. Looks like the cable's on the fritz again. Oh, I get, see, that's no fun to watch. Tell me, do you have multiple cable signal outlets running off a single made feed into your house? Uh, yeah. Simple enough. Here we go, folks. Dom the Nitro versus IQD. Former allies going head-to-head -head in the heart-wrenching face-off of the year. Gretchen Grundler, where can I get one of you? Jeez, Pookie, it's a shame you're not more like Gretchen, or I'd never have to pay the cable guy again. More spaghetti, anyone? Well, no thanks. I got heartburn. Not to worry, Mr. Spinelli. I noticed that while delicious, the ratio of acids to alkalis in the sauce seemed to be slightly out of whack, most likely because of the olives. My olives! A few simple changes ought to balance it out. Gee whiz, Gretchen. Hey, you're a handy-dandy cable guy and the chef. Not to mention a science expert and a musical genius. She came up with a song today right in the museum. Don't say. Hey, we got a dusty old organ sitting in the living room. Any chance you can play it? Well, I have the note to dabble. That sounds like fun. Hey, let's go listen to Gretchen play. Count me in. What about wrestling? Oh, Ashley, come on. It isn't every day that Gretchen comes over. Yeah, forget wrestling. This is special.
To her, but she just stormed up to her bedroom. I must admit, I'm at a loss for an explanation. Oh, Plucky Spinelli, what vexes you so? Maybe she got one of those olive pieces in her eye. Whatever it was, now's your chance to find out. Oh, Spinelli, thank goodness. I've been so worried about you. Worried I might not croak soon enough for you to steal my parents? Steal your parents? But I have two perfectly good parents at home. I guess that's why you kept showing off in front of them and making me look like a total loser. Not showing off? That certainly wasn't my intention. So you ruined my life by accident? Well, don't worry. You won't accidentally do that ever again. Because I only invite friends over to my house, and I don't want to be your friend anymore. Scram for me! Wow, you must have really ticked her off last night. But I didn't do anything at Spinelli's house that I wouldn't do at my own house. I'd say that right there might be the problem. I don't follow. Some moms and dads don't see a lot of that genius kid achievement junk up close. So when a kid like you comes along, being all amazing and stuff, sometimes they start wondering why their own kid can't be amazing too. That must make their child feel terrible. I reckon it does. Anyway, if Spinelli ended up feeling bad about herself, she might be blaming you. I should apologize. Hey, it's not your fault. Sure isn't, Vince. Gretchen, I'd say it's time you made another visit to Mr. and Mrs. Spinelli. How was school today? You've been real quiet. I'm kind of worried about you. Wish you'd tell us what's the matter. I'll tell you what's the matter. The girl's hungry just like me, so quit the john and let's get on. Woohoo! Why, Gretchen. Well, how'd you get in here? Ah, uh, don't sweat it, Mr. S. I'll pay for the window. Huh? I didn't know you were inviting Gretchen over tonight. You should have told us. I didn't invite that girl. Actually, Mrs. Spinelli, coming over tonight was not my idea. I got a holler feeling in my belly for some of them hot-looking foods of yours. Bring it on, girl! Oh, well, uh, all right. Let me get you a plate. Hey, not to worry. I'll eat out of this fancy big plate right here. Mmm, meatloaf. Uh, yummy. Uh, thank you. What are you doing, Gretch? Though I'm tired of maintaining my child prodigy facade. Tonight, I'm letting loose. Look at me, I'm the crummiest kid in the world. <laughs> Compared to me, any kid would seem wonderful. Any kid at all, don't you think? Uh, I get it. And now for some music. Being ever so humble, there's no place like home. One more time. Gretch, it's okay. You can stop. I know what you're up to, and thanks. <sighs> Thank goodness, I think I ruptured my esophagus. <clears throat> Mr. Spinelli, Mrs. Spinelli, I beg your understanding, and I really didn't break the window. Good luck. What in the world is wrong with Gretchen? The feet, the belching, the bad grammar, for Pete's sakes. I think she figured that if you thought she was a crummy kid, maybe you'd stop wishing I was so much like her. Aw, Pookie, we don't want you to be more like Gretchen. Come on, Ma. At the museum, more like Gretchen. At dinner, more like Gretchen. When she was fixing the TV, more like Gretchen. All you guys had to say about me yesterday was how you wished I was more like Gretchen. I got mad at Gretchen, but the fact is, she was just being herself. I can't blame her for that. I mean, the least you can do is let a girl be herself, right? We're so sorry. Fact is, there are a zillion things that make you special. You're so plucky, scrappy, and full of spirit. You saved your Aunt Florence from that crazy junkyard chihuahua. I guess when you're with a person all the time, sometimes you forget to let them know how wonderful they really are. You are wonderful, and we don't ever want you to change a thing. Although, there is one thing I'd like you to do for me. What? I take the rest of the Doomsday Slam Fest. Would you mind watching it with me? I guess that sounds like something I would do. And she's back up again. Tom and Nitro is up and back in the fight. I can't say it's going to be smooth sailing from here, but definitely things.